Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto. Welcome to another Born Pretty video. Born Pretty kindly sent me all this stuff for review. So uh, let's get into it. Um, we have some polish, we have top coat, we have some pot of gels, and we even have a really nice liner brush. I'm really excited about this. It's very thin and I will be using it um, in a little bit to show you off one of the gels in particular. So I thought I would start off with some of the gel polish. Um, this is the Jelly Nude and it is really, really pretty. Um, I did two coats of this to kind of build it up to full opacity and it is that kind of jelly-like um, color where it, it is full coverage but it does give you that kind of jelly look, I guess. It's hard to explain but um, I really, really like this one. I thought that was a beautiful color and I a lot of my clients do love colors like this. And next up, the other gel polish that we have is the Neon Luminous. So this is a really pretty neon pink. I feel like it's not showing up super neon on camera. Like it looks neon, but in person it is actually much more neon. Um, I just think that my camera is not quite uh, showing you how bright bright it is and it, it did take two coats the first coat was a little sheer and then the luminous um just means that it's glow in the dark and i will show you that later um my little one actually helped me show that one off so stay tuned for that and then of course we have a top coat this is one of their glitter top coats and it's really pretty i thought it would look really stunning over top of the jelly nude color so i had to put it over there and we just have gold flex and it is a no wipe top coat as well um, the rest of the colors that i do feature in this i just use the regular born pretty top coat um, and this is the reflective sequins gel it is pretty chunky there is some really nice big chunks of kind of iridescent glitter in there and it like a kind of a jelly type reflective blue gel. Um, the one chunk in the middle, I do end up taking off because I just can't seem to smooth it out. Um, but I, it does end up looking really pretty. I was actually really impressed with this. I wasn't sure what to think when I first saw it. But I think once I get... Um, this coat and then I do a second coat as well just to kind of build up the color. I feel like it looks very like mermaidy, oceany kind of vacation nail. Um, the iridescent um, glitter in it is just so so pretty and the second coat does build up that kind of blue color quite a bit and it's really neat to have that the difference in the depth of the iridescent gel and then the reflective gel on top. Um, I did have to put a pretty thick layer of top coat on there just to kind of even everything out with the kind of more chunkier glitter, but it did turn out really, really pretty. So this is the metallic drawing gel. So I'm using this with the new brush that I got, and it is almost like being able to paint with chrome. It's so, so pretty. Um, it kind of is a little bit frosty when you first kind of swipe your brush down, but once you let it sit, it um, smooths right out and I did do this on top of a no wipe top coat the born pretty no white top coat and um I just was kind of just playing around and just kind of seeing where it took me the brush works amazingly um and I kept going and going with this design just because the metallic drawing gel really performs nicely it's very smooth and easy to work with and it was really cool to see how chromey it got so with the design I kind of ended up going in a little bit of like a molted metal or molten metal type of vibe I was kind of going for, but um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And um, once I do get the design down how I want it, I kept adding to it because I never know when to stop, um, but I think it turned out really good. Uh, I kind of like let the last strokes just sit for a couple seconds so that they got really sh super shiny and chromey. And then I put it in the lamp to cure and it's not running or budging or, or moving anywhere, right? It it's it's thin and it moves really easily, but it's not running anywhere. So that was really nice to see that um, it was really easy to work with for the art designs. 
And then, yeah, once I got it down, like I said, I let it sit for a couple seconds and popped it in the light and then top coated it with the Born Pretty top coat. And I think it turned out really, really excellent. Um, it's just so chrome. So this is everything all together and top coated. And I will show you the pink one glow and I will show you the blue uh, reflective with the flash on. Um, I thought it was really important to show it kind of both ways. So this is the neon pink in normal lighting and then this is it in the dark. This was in my bathroom and um, this is the blue with the reflectiveness. I think it turned out really nice. Thank you so much for watching.